Johann Heinrich Pestalozzi's Input to Pedagogy Johann Heinrich Pestalozzi, the father of modern pedagogy, included four main aspects in his view of a child. To begin with, well-being is the key factor and the foundation for learning. Only by being physically and mentally healthy can a child be proactive in learning, doing that with passion and emotions. The second point is belonging, underlining the importance of family for a child. Positive and supportive relationships in the closest child social group occupy a special place in a child's development. It is important at an early age to be valued and understand the contribution one can make to society. This can be the right motivation for the learning process. The next factor is an expression, or the ability of a child to interact with different objects. Communication skills are vital because it is the way to express one's thoughts and feelings. The last aspect is engagement, implying the ability to freely interact with anyone and anything that seems interesting for a child. Pestalozzi makes children themselves responsible for their learning and development process, though not denying the role of parents and family. With regard to the above-mentioned factors, Pestalozzi would undoubtedly endorse the play experience I described in Step 1. Firstly, the sense of being valued, which was expressed with the smile reaction to the compliments, is vital for children. This way, they get the courage to continue trying something new. Another moment is the engagement, as a child was allowed to be proactive without any strict limitations, their mind performed to the best of their ability and, therefore, implemented some novel ideas. Still, as Pestalozzi underlines the importance of interaction with nature, it would be even better if natural objects were instead of silicone and plastic. Hence, as I tend to mostly agree with the scholar's view on a child and their learning process, I will certainly implement some that were new for me in my education practice. For instance, I would prefer to engage children outside rather than inside to fully provide an opportunity to discover the real world. On the other hand, some ideas of Pestalozzi seem controversial to me. He emphasizes the importance for schools to model after homes and teachers after parents. From my perspective, it appears to be more beneficial for a child to get acquainted with different types of behavior. As in real life, the environment does not always look like home, and already from an early age, it seems reasonable for a child to gradually gather that, though, certainly through the most friendly and respective way. Therefore, this idea was challenging for me to understand, but now I am more inclined to agree with Pestalozzi as my view is more appropriate for older ages, not to hurt a child when they leave their comfort zone, home. The connection of the scholar's beliefs with our course is especially apparent in Week 6, Early Childhood Education and Care in Canada. The principles of such education of the Canadian government seem to go in line with those of Pestalozzi. For example, they ensure the right for every individual to have access to high-quality education, not charging any fees for kindergarten programs. Furthermore, the government promotes inclusivity and equality, subsidizing the programs for a specific population, such as Indigenous Canadians, military personnel, and newcomers to Canada. Hence, the theorist connects with our lectures through his perspective on early education.